What's up guys and welcome back to Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. In the last episode, we got ourselves a saddle finally and we got ourselves our very own horse. Now it's becoming nighttime, but I asked you guys in the last episode, what should we name the horse? And you guys left me with a bunch of awesome comments on what I should name the horse, so I'm sorry. Of course I can't name it every single one you guys asked. We can only choose one name. And with that being said, I think the name that was the coolest and that made me smile the most was Giraffe. <laughs> I just thought, it, you know, it made me chuckle when I read it, you know? So I think that'd be a cool little name for him. Just as a funny little nickname. So there you go. His name will be Draft. Thank you to whoever commented that. Obviously, your comment is on the screen. Or it was. Or it is. Or whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go and give him a name tag. And, of course, name him Giraffe. And then after that, I do need to put fences. Because somebody actually mentioned a uh, very important thing. Which was that the horse is the horse's leash actually has a chance of breaking or snapping. And then if he doesn't have, you know, fences, he'll actually run away. That won't be good. We don't want to be... Oh, oh, game. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. How do I use a name tag on him? Uh... I don't know. Huh, now it's stuck up there. Darn it, giraffe! All right, so I'm gonna put a gate here, and nope, that's not a gate. Wrong thing. Okay, uh, gate here and gate there. That way, can we walk through the center? Still, we can. So it's like if we're ever like, all right, giraffe, let's go on an adventure, we, and then I can like close these. Yep, and just go. But then I can be like, all right, giraffe, that's it for the day. See you, buddy. All right, and there we actually broke the leash, as you saw there, as we rode off. So good to keep in mind that it's breakable. All right, that's actually pretty nice. Um, I have no idea. No, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, what do you eat, by the way? You probably eat apples. Okay, I'll be right back. I don't know why the name tag isn't working. Uh, we'll have to find that out together. If you guys know why the name tag isn't working when I, you know, click him, maybe I need to be like, I don't know, That maybe that's a weird idea, but maybe I have to be like crouching? Do we not have any apples? There's no way we don't have any apples. We don't have any apples, huh, okay. All right, well, today's main goal after, of course, taking care of giraffe and everything is to go and kill off some endermen. We only have three achievements left in the game, guys, which that's just super crazy, awesome, insane, you know? We have three achievements left, and those three achievements are, one, go to the end, go through the end portal, and two, beat the game, the end, you know, beat the ender dragon, win. And the third one is diamonds to you, which is give a diamond, give diamonds to another player. Um, I will be doing that one. Don't worry, I already had that one planned out as well. So with that being said, uh, things are like don't think like this is the last episode. We have a lot of work to do because first off, killing endermen can be a little difficult. As you know, they're a little jumpy, so getting to them is gonna be tough. Now I gotta wait for these trees to decompose, and hopefully in that meantime they'll give me some uh, apples. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna go back. Let's get rid of these two dirt bots. They're just sort of ugly sitting there. All right, we need to go and make ourselves some food because we're a little low on health. I wanted to try to go and get the fish because some people were suggesting an obvious but also really good idea that all that salmon and normal fish I caught is gonna be able to feed me for so long. Like I'll never have to kill another animal again. All right, hmm, let's go ahead and do that though. I'm gonna go and at least get the salmon for now and click that up. Hmm. It's so cool looking at our map. I don't know. I just like, because, you know, before this used to be barren landscape, and now it's just so much more. Well, what is down there? Oh, yeah. I'm, what am I talking about? I know it's down there. I built it, but I was just, I didn't mean to, I went to say, well, like, I was worried if there was going to be any creepers or anything spawning in. But you can see that's, that's, I, I don't know. If you get, I know there's a lot of new viewers to this series now because, you know, it's their first time doing it in a while. There's a lot of new Zebra Herd members. Uh, if you guys did it, you, I suggest you go and check out some of the older episodes. A lot of it, like, would take a lot of explaining to re explain, you know, why that big old hole is there and why there's a bunch of glass down there. But definitely watch the last 10 or so episodes if you had the time. This is probably one of my favorite series I've done on the channel. It's just a lot of fun. We're going to cook up the salmon, eat it up. It'll be nice and tasty. Hmm. Do we need anything from here? Like, I don't think we really need too much wheat right now. We just need apples to feed our horse buddy. Like, horses, like, I don't know, that's not just me, right? Horses normally eat apples. Uh, I know that, like, uh, when I was a kid, my neighbors had a horse, like, across the street. And then we would feed them apples. Like, I think it was only one horse, I'm not sure. But it was always cool. Hmm. All right, now, speaking of which, we're just gonna go over here and. Oh, there's one. It's still in the tree, though. <laughs> All right, go ahead, and there you go. Let's see if he'll eat that. It'd be really cool if he did. Let's also go over here and pick up 
this. We gotta help our environment, man. All right, and boop. <laughs> ah, there. Cool. All right, let's go back. Can I eat fish raw? I can, but it doesn't do much for me. It's sort of a waste. As long as I'm not dying from hunger, which I'm not, so I'm not too worried. Then we'll just keep going with this and see uh what we can do. Hmm. All right, hi, buddy. Um, no. See, everything I do just feeds or just makes me sit on you. But I want to, like, interact with you. There you go. Okay, so I was right about crouching. Huh, but I can't feed you nothing. Weird. But how's your health doing? Okay. No. Um. Your health is okay. You're always missing a half a heart from when I accidentally hit you, which I'm sorry about, by the way. But, uh. So what if, what if I crouch and then use. No. Um. Huh. All right, Um, this is so weird. Let's see. Maybe I can like put it over here like, no, that won't work either. Like what if I get rid of the thing? Yeah, that doesn't work. I don't know, I feel like there's some stuff the game should definitely, you know, inform me on. But uh, for date now, <laughs> I'll name him at some point. We know what his name is now though, which is a good thing. All right, let's get out of here. You keep looking beautiful, man. I might want to put like little corner pieces like I have here. I might want to eventually put that there. I don't know, like in the same way, not this kind of wood, but the birch tree, I think that looked cool. All right, how are the salmon cooking up? 12, so let's see how much um, health this gives me back. Uh, hmm, do all that, then let's eat it up. Yum, 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 yum. All right, ooh, that's actually pretty darn good. So for, so we have, you know, two inventories worth of that, so that's gonna be, us being pretty darn comfortable for a little while. Now I'm gonna sort of um, organize my inventory a little bit and then I'll be back and hopefully it'll be nighttime by then and we can start hunting down some Endermen. All right, so my current Diamond Sword only has Knockback 2. Obviously, we can get a little better with all of our current enchanting books. So we're gonna go and check that out, see if we can't figure that out together. Um, I wanna go and sort of get the majority of what is over by my fishing booth here. I'll probably leave like the fishing rods, but I'm gonna take the uh, the bows and I'm gonna take the uh, the books. That way, you know, they're not here. They don't really need to be here. But everything else, I think I'll take the name tags, but the fish I'll keep here. And the, 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 the rods I'll keep here, but these I'll take. That seems good. Uh, I'll organize that a little bit better maybe at some other point in time. But for now, we can actually run on back and now it's nighttime. We won't be going to bed. I just need to sort of organize this stuff a little bit better. I don't have any arrows at the moment from my knowledge though, so if I can make those up super quick, that'd be good, but I do not remember what we need for arrows. Um, hmm. So which one of these is the best? We got Infinity 1, Flame 1. We have Power 3, Flame 1, Power 4, Unbreaking 3. That sounds like it'd be the best. Flame seems cool, but Power 4 sounds awesome. <laughs> okay, let's uh, boop, boop, put those two away. Now for my sword, protection three and breaking three, efficiency three, bane of arthropods four, and fire protection three, efficiency four, and efficiency three, protection three and breaking, protection, efficiency, sharpness. I don't know, I feel like all these could be a little better. They're not really very good for swords. They sound like it'd be great for armor though, so maybe I'll put something in that idea. Hmm. Maybe I'll say most of these for like, I don't know, diamond swords. All right, what do we got? Power, power three, infinity one, flame one. What is infinity? I'm not sure. This is power four though, so it's the most powerful. This is Bane of Arthropods. That's not super duper helpful. All right, um, I might need a special book chest at this point. Um, Well, all these will be better than just having knockback, because this will get, like, will I keep my knockback? Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. Um, let's do that, put this name tag here, and then, yeah, let's go for that. Um, let's find out. Oh, no, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. So let's see. That'll cost five, which isn't expensive. Knockback to sharpness. So it keeps my sharpness, gets rid of the efficiency and the protection, because obviously. It doubles the attack, almost doubles. Okay, we'll go for it. Oh, that, that noise is so loud. All right. And now we just gotta figure out how to make arrows, and then we'll go out into the world and start battling. Hmm. Where are arrows at? They'd probably be over here, right? All right, we need flint, and then we need, to, oh, I don't know if we have much of that. We have an arrow over here. Um, hmm. We only have one ender pearl, by the way. If we don't have arrows, it's not the end of the world, but, wait, what is this one here? Silk touch, okay. Hmm. 
Do I have flint? I have six flint there. I have as much sticks as I need. Do I have any feathers? I don't believe I do. Well, there's a new goal. Uh, get some feathers soon. I have one shot. <laughs> I have to make it make it worth it. All right. Whoa. Hey, buddy. What are you doing up there? They like you're king of the world, huh? All right, buddy. I'll take you out later. You're on my to-do list. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Then let's see. We got a witch out here. We got ourselves some uh, skeletons. I almost, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go against a witch right now. Hmm. Like, I'm not really too worried at this point. I don't think the game's going to be able to throw anything at us that'll actually be so dangerous. Wow, wait. <laughs> he went flying. Whoa, and it was a one-shot kill, too. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I don't think the game's going to be able to throw anything at us that will actually take us out right away. Hmm. With that being said, of course, I'm all eyes on Enderman's. Uh, I mean, we've killed plenty of Endermen, I guess. I, I would say we've killed at least like 10 Endermen throughout our series. Not too many, but not too little. But yet, I've only gotten one Ender Pearl. Oh, is that one over there? Or is that a donkey? Oh, uh, that's a horse, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, that's not good. Luckily, we're pretty darn fast out here. All right, some horses out here. Eventually, I wanna get a, like a black and white styled horse. Call it Little Z. A lot of people like call the horse Zebra Junior or Zebra something related. I wanna find a black and white horse eventually too, give him a little friend, and call that one Little Z. Uh, okay, whoa, it's just so cool how far it knocks him back. And it's only a two-shot KO, so I think that whenever we find an Enderman, I wouldn't say that he would be in good hands, but I guess we would. Hmm. Let's eat up more salmon. I probably should have taken some more, but at the same time, it refills like, I think that was three, maybe two and a half, but it looked like three and a half pieces of hunger, which is insane. All right. Hmm. Let's go and see what we can do here. Creepers, spiders, skeletons, zombies, all the works. Aha, there you go, there's one. Um, hmm, let's get over there super quick, and hopefully I can smack him before he notices me, like I can't look at him, and then, hi -ya, hi -ya. Okay, yep, yep, you're gonna go for me. Oh, I hate that noise. That noise always makes me shiver and quiver, and that got me nothing. Yep, nothing, darn. Ah, oh, that's okay. If I run into any skeletons, I'll definitely take them out, but I've not, okay, like there's one over here. I wanna exactly call this running into it as more as I am running for it, but if I can get a few arrows out of it, that'd be cool. Oh, he has a shovel. Let's see if he drops anything cool because of that. Maybe he'll drop a shovel. Give me that shovel. Uh, no shovel for me. I've gotten some bones. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Just gotta keep looking. Ow! Ow! Baby zombie! I don't need no baby zombie. I always hate that. The baby zombies always make me the most upset out of all bosses. Like, not bosses, but... Okay. Not good. <laughs> you get out of here. Okay. Um, let me get out of there. Okay. That was not a good scenario. Jeez. All these mobs, except for the uh, Endermen, should just lay off, but they're not gonna, are they? Hmm. All right then, uh, not anything over there. It's, the spider's gonna start coming in for me. So I'm gonna dart off this way. So no, not too many Endermen here. I think I should go to the desert. Like, that'll be a bit more helpful for me, but I'm not sure. Hmm. I mean, that's just the goal, is just to go out here whenever we can, you know, face some Enderman, hopefully get some orbs. If you guys don't know, we need the pearls to not only find the Ender thingamajug, but I think we need to put the, whoa, we need to put the Eye of Enders, which are a completely different item. We need to put those inside of the thing. I don't know really how it works, because I've never done it myself, but I, I, I know, like, I've heard about it, and I've read about it, and I've watched it. I've just never done it myself, so I'm not exactly sure, you know, step by step. I just know we need those items. These these spiders are chasing me and it's creeping. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna, ooh boy, don't wanna fall down there. Um, we're definitely not gonna find the Enderman out here in this forest, I don't think. Like, I've seen them much more in open areas. So, that's what I'm trying to get to. I probably should have just taken the mine card at this point, but hey, whatever. Whatever way we might be able to find it, right? Hmm, and yeah, next time, note to self, just take the mine card. All right, buddy, you're around here. I'm just gonna take you out. I wanna go around this mountain. I think it's gonna be better than climbing over it. Hmm, oh, oh, you, you're gonna be an easy situation to take out. Jeez, this is, okay. Maybe some of this wasn't a good idea, but hey, at least I'm getting some skeleton kills out of it. Hopefully I'm getting some arrows as well. I do have five arrows. Whoa, a lot of stuff. None of it I want. Oh, I hate that noise. That that spider noise, never pleasant. Never pleasant. Is he coming over here? Nah, he's just like, nah. I don't, I don't swim, man, I can't. I can't swim. All right. Uh, 
Hmm, I know there's a creeper behind me, I know. Her uh, is he still following me? You bet he is. <laughs> okay, go up here, and then this is hopefully where we'll start finding a few more Endermen. Um, hmm, oh, oh, see ya. <laughs> okay, let's see, ooh, that's a good horse over there. I don't know, I don't have the materials to get any of the horses right now, though. Um, hmm, oh, I'm low on food. Or low on hunger. Fine on food. All right, um, hmm. I don't see any Endermen out here. Hmm, this is a nice area, though. This is really tranquil. I mean, I've been out here like a thousand times. <laughs> I should know that by now, but it's just like, ah, night's almost over. We gotta be quick with this. I mean, sometimes Endermen do pop up during the day. This isn't a nice horse, he's not black and white though. I know there are black and white horses, so it's not zebras. I mean, in the Little Big Planet skin pack there is, but we play this on normal skin pack just because I think it fits the theme of the uh, the game and the series and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. All right. Uh. Hmm. Unfortunately, still no Enderman. It also stinks that they're the rarest mob out of all the main, like, you know, Things like all out of all the main enemies you see spawning on the surface, they seem, to, they seem to be the rarest. And I don't think there's like an Enderman spawner exactly. I mean, is morning starting to roll in here? We'll take care of who we can within the area. Then we'll definitely also spend some of this episode trying to uh, get started with uh, breeding. We need to get some breeding done um, just to build our farms back up. If we are fighting every single night looking for Enderman, I'm guessing we're gonna need a lot of food, just because we're running around a lot, we're taking a lot of damage, so food consumption is gonna go up, which means food production needs to go up as well. Uh, also, with that being said, while we're running around, I wanna get it out there. Uh, a lot of people are like, okay, if you're so close to getting this series done, which we are, uh, what do you plan on doing next? Uh, if it comes to Minecraft, are you gonna do a Minecraft series after this? Yes, I've actually talked about this before in the series. Once again, I know there's a few people new to this series, so hello. Um, basically, um, how it's gonna work is that I definitely wanna move on to something new after this. Probably not Minecraft PlayStation 4 related right away. Uh, if I, ooh, here we go, here's an ender. I don't need this courier, so I might as well just take you out and see if you drop anything cool. Which you did not, then a baby zombie over here. I hate these things, so you know what? I'll be glad to take it out. All right, oh, gotcha, okay. <laughs> All right, so what I was saying was, um, I wanna see if I can't do something Minecraft PC related. If I do something Minecraft PS4 related, it'll probably be an adventure map. With that being said, uh, Minecraft PC 1.9 adventure maps have been really catching my eye. So I think I wanna try something like that. I mean, for the longest time, I've been wanting to try that Pixelmon thing. I don't know, though. I don't know if like that's, cool anymore if people still watch Pixelmon. I, I really haven't heard anything about it in like a year or two. Obviously, that's almost what I want right here. This guy, you're almost zebra-tastic material. Keep working, you'll get there. Earn those stripes, man. So at this point, it looks like we are fresh out of luck when it comes to finding these uh, these uh, Endermen. I'll try to look around a little bit more. I love this part of the, like we never really adventured this corner of the map too much. I mean, I, I'm familiar with it enough to be able to find my way back. Also, I have a compass, so. Um, but I don't see any way we're gonna find an Enderman around here. Hmm. All right, but yeah, what I was saying, Pixelmon sounds cool. I, I, I've, I've, lo I've watched a few Crazy Craft videos and those look like so much fun. But I, I'd wanna do something that I can do single player. I don't wanna like do something where I have to find a modded server. I'm not good with that kind of stuff and all that kind of, like I want something that's single player. I just think that's where my strengths are right now is just doing single player series for the most part. But um, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like we've run out of luck when it comes, whoa, oh no, that poor sheep. <laughs> All right, I could get that pooch, but we have enough pooches right now. Um, Yeah, it looks like that's all we're gonna find here. No more Endermen. I'm gonna hop up this mountain just because I'm actually having a fun time running around, you know? Uh, we're gonna get one last view, see if we can't find anything. Oh my, whoa, what is that? Oh, whoa. Oh, it's a red, we've, this is, that's new. Okay. So obviously this map has existed before this uh, Mesa, Mesa something biome actually was in Minecraft PS4. So the fact that this is here is new. I don't know what makes a game change the biome like that, but that's super interesting. So now we have a Mesa super close to our house. And you can see, I focused on this before, how there's a big gap and like a line between 
the, um, what's it called there? There's like a big gap between the biomes. I guess this is sort of a loading area. Interesting stuff. I'm sorry I'm sort of going off the bean path here. Definitely no Enderman about here, but obviously this is worth exploring if it's literally untouched terrain. <laughs> that is so weird. I'll never get over that. Hmm. And there's a savanna really close to home. My home away from home. Really not that far anymore. Very cool. Okay, we'll go and we'll run around because honestly, that means that we have an even greater chance of finding a new village around here. If this is newly spawned maps and terrains and stuff, we have a chance of finding a village. It's like there used to be a swamp right over there, but the swamp seems like it's been loaded right over. Like, look at that. You can actually see the corner where the swamp was loaded over. It sort of makes it's like, it feels like a pieces of my memory were removed. I do see a well over there, but sometimes, I that if there's a lone well over there, that's not too uncommon for me. I think we have found like three or four lone wells in this map, but look at the bunnies. I love bunnies. Oh, it's a little like pack of baby mouth. That's so cute. I love you. <laughs> I'll leave you alone now. Hmm, I have to go pick up that coal we just passed a moment ago. Hmm, yeah, there just seems to be a lone well. Why is there just packs of baby bunnies? I don't mean to separate you, you guys have fun. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like we're finding any villages here. But uh, we'll keep running for a little bit. Like I said, I wanna make these videos a little longer, a little more action packed, more adventure filled, so. Looks like that's, uh, it looks like we get some dispersed islands at this point. I'll climb up to the top of that mountain maybe. And maybe upon there we'll see, it looks like there's even more savanna in the distance, so maybe that'll give us a little bit of more context, you know, be able to see. Because the rendering distance is quite large here on Minecraft PS4. So maybe I'll be able to see if there's any uh, villages in the distance. If not, we'll just turn around and get back home. There's a floating island. And just a tiny little baby one, but still a floating island. Okay, then let's get started. Climb up here and do our climbing stuff. Ooh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Then let's see. Oh, there really isn't too much to see. Where was that savanna tree then? Maybe it was like... Oh, it was like... Ah! All right, there is more. Whoa, you guys see that at the corner of my vision? I see that. That is a desert temple. Ooh, we haven't found a desert temple here on the series before. I've only found a desert temple once, like actually playing Minecraft, like not you know running through creative before. I'm out of food though. This could be dangerous. Hmm. We'll go for it. Um, I mean, I could, you know, get to building and really make a quick base really quick, too. I mean, we have yet to get any of this type of savanna wood, so I hate to deconstruct my home away from home, but I might, you know, deconstruct the trees that look like this. Like, these are the same kind of trees as these are, but they're not all fancy, so I might get, you know, get some of these. Oh, there's a chicken, too. All right, let's take care of you, and then I'll get the food in a second. Oh, no, I just picked it up. Hmm. Interesting. So I might actually go and make a little base here. Just like a small base, nothing huge. All right, so what is, is this normal wood? It's oak wood. Oh, so it is different wood, okay. My bad, my bad, I was wrong. All right, then let's go. And then there's some cows here. All right, that's good, that's really good. Cause now I can um, take a few of these guys out like you. And then where are you, Mr. Cow? You're over here. I'm sorry to do this to you, but I gotta. All right, so this is gonna be cool. It's definitely not what I intended for today's episode, but that doesn't mean it's not awesome. Now, is there any coal down here? There is. That's gonna make this work out a little bit better for us because now we can get torches. Uh, there's iron as well. Ooh, a bunch of coal, a bunch of iron. Probably should have brought my diamond pick, but I didn't expect to go out this far and, or to go out this far and not die, you know? <laughs> all right, get all this stuff. Hmm. All right, we're good. We're doing some good progress here. We'll get all this coal. We'll use this to make A, torches, and then B, uh, cook up some food. That should be good. All right, cool, cool, cool. And that way, like, we don't have to run all the way back to get some materials, and then run all the way back here, and we can just, you know, get this done. <laughs> get it out of the way, check out what's inside of there, and hopefully it doesn't get dark too soon. So I do have to sort of hustle a little bit. But with that being said, that should be enough torches. Let me get out of here, and uh, also, let's, uh, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's enough. Hmm, I hear a skeleton though. Skellies. How, where's the sun at? The sun's setting. All right, we gotta go. Hmm. Let me first make a few of these. 
and then this, and then do a bit of that, then put that there. All right, make a few of these, and then now what we gotta do is we have to make, what's it called? We need to make that. All right, so now we can go like this. This feels like I'm going back to the classics, man. Going back to the classic stuff. Put this here, put, um, we'll put this here because that'll feed me more. We'll do that, that should be enough there. And then make some torches just like this. Cool, so there's 44 torches, so definitely last me a little while here. And I wanna place these around, get ourselves ready, just in case it does get sort of unexplainably dark very quickly. I even have a tree and some mushrooms, so I think I can actually turn that into mushroom soup if I need to. So, overall, some good stuff going on, but is that, okay. That looks like a pretty zebratastic horse right here. That is a pretty zebratastic horse. Huh. Well, I'm gonna hang out with him for the next little bit. Well, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.